very welcome to the second lesson of the discourse of uh, geophysics in Python. Uh, well, in this second lesson we are going to talk a little bit about an important Python library uh, which is called matplotlib. Matplotlib allows you uh, creating some uh, basic uh, scientific plotting, so it will be very important uh, for the rest of the course. Much of the examples which uh, we are going to show will be realized using matplotlib. Uh, again, uh, let me remind you that all the examples uh, um, which we are going to show through this course are freely downloadable from this website. Uh, and well, again, this is the website, there is a folder inverse methods, and here you can see the two files of uh, the second lesson. Uh, there is a Python file, which is basically a Python code, and a Python notebook. Uh, let me uh, remind you that if you plan to use uh, the Python code, uh, you can um, open it uh, using some one of the commonly used uh, Python development environments. Uh, my favorite one is PyCharm, but um, also Spider, which is more oriented to scientific application. But I suggest you um, using uh, Jupyter notebooks, which are uh, easier to understand, uh, to start learning uh, Python. Uh, it's, from my point of view, is one of the most uh, useful tools. If you want, you can download and install Jupyter on uh, your own computer, but you can also access this lesson through this uh, web link. So the URL is um, quite long, uh, well, but you just need to copy and put it on your browser. Well, this is the page. Uh, the page that opens is just a viewer. Uh, to run the codes, you need to push uh, here the three small circles, uh, which is the bin there. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, again, uh, it takes uh, quite long uh, the first time you run it, but well, here I have uh, the page already open. So the first cell of the notebook is uh, required to install for the first time um, NumPy that you already know and matplotlib. If you are running the notebook on your computer, uh, probably you won't need uh, to run this cell, but let us do it right now. Well, it takes a few seconds and uh, the server needs to install NumPy and Matplotlib. Well, done. Okay, let's uh, go to the first uh, cell showing how to use the very basic plotting uh, uh, feature of Matplotlib. Um, Matplotlib is a very complex uh, library which um, contains um, in, uh, inside it uh, other libraries and one of the most commonly used is PyPlot which is, uh, as the name suggests, for plotting. Uh, well, we are using again NumPy, we need uh, NumPy uh, very often, but here we have a slightly different syntax. Um, for the Python code, we are adding is this as np. What does it mean? Um, it means that uh, we are uh, telling Python that uh, since now we are using the alias np instead of numpy. So it's just to make uh, our life easier and uh, uh, writing the code shorter. So instead of using uh, each time matplotlib.pyplot, we can just uh, replace it by uh, with plt. So it's just easier. Okay, mm. so let's start uh, creating our first uh, Cartesian uh, plot, uh, creating the x uh, axis and y axis. Uh, well, the x axis is created using the command a range of NumPy, 
uh, which allows you uh, creating a um, vector of points uh, equally spaced. So here we specify the beginning and the end of the vector and the spacing, which is 0, uh, 0.2. Um, let me uh, remind you that uh, this syntax is going to create point going from 0 to 9.8. So the last value will be missing from your vector. Okay. Uh, and then, well, we create uh, the y axis just by doing uh, the square of x and uh, summing 1. Okay, so it's uh, a very uh, simple function. Um, the command most commonly used to do graphics with the matplotlib is just plot. So um, the, uh, here we are specifying the x and y axis. Uh, you can use also uh, only the y axis. In this case, it will be assumed that the points are equally spaced, but well, it's better for us to specify both. Um, what uh, you, you need to remember is that uh, the two vectors uh, used um, for the x and y axis must have the same size, otherwise you will get an error. Well, we can make our plot fancier by adding a title, so this is a string, but you can add uh, whatever you want. Uh, it will be added to the top of the graphics. We can add a label to the x uh, axis and a label to the y axis. You can change them uh, as you prefer. And well, this is very important to show uh, the figure on the screen. You need to call explicit, explicitly uh, the command show, otherwise the image will be uh, kept in the memory of your computer and you will never uh, be able to see it. Well, mm, Matplotlib mm, allows you also to uh, save a picture on files but uh, that's another story. To see uh, the image on uh, your screen, you need to call explicitly show. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay, we got it. So we have a very simple uh, graphics, a continuous line, blue line. The color has been chosen automatically by, by plot. You can specify the colors, but in this case, we left uh, Python to select automatically a color and well we have the x axis with the label we selected the y axis with the label and the title of the plot. Uh, okay what if we um, prefer plotting uh, the graphics using points we need to specify by default uh, the graphics will be a continuous line but we can specify um, it to be plotted using uh, points. Uh, this is the way to do it. Uh, we need to use a character and this is the point and well let's see the results. Well, it's the same graphics but this time is represented by discrete points instead of a continuous line. Uh, Matplotlib allows you to overlap uh, different graphics uh, on the same plot, uh, you have just to call uh, the plot command as many times uh, you want. So, for instance, um, the first time we call plot with the same uh, x and y uh, axis, uh, asking matplotlib to draw uh, the graphics using red the r crosses x. So x uh, um, means that we uh, want uh, to draw the graphics as uh, discrete uh, small crosses and r that means that we want them to be uh, colored in red. Uh, if you are familiar with MATLAB uh, the syntax is uh, almost the same so it's very easy for a MATLAB programmer to use matplotlib. 
and in the second plot we want to draw a continuous line the minus in color blue okay let's see and we have uh, red crosses and the blue line it is important to remind that the, the order uh, in which we call the different uh, graphics uh, will mm, determine uh, which graphics is, is on the top so in this case the blue line is um, drawn on the top of the red crosses well mm, we don't need to specify uh, different graphics one for each line we can put them on a single line <coughs> sorry my suggestion is to use uh, this syntax because it's easy to understand and easier uh, to debug if you want to change something or so uh, but just to show you this possibility uh, we will be doing um, two graphics on the same um, plot uh, by drawing black crosses, uh, K uh, stays for black and a dotted line, the two points, the colon um, with green color okay and this is the result so we have the black crosses and the dotted green line on the top okay in this case uh, we didn't specify a title and uh, label uh, for axis so the graphics it's um, simpler um, well we now let's uh, understand how we can manipulate uh, the sides of the markers of mm, the width of the line matplotlib offers mm, a lot of possibility to make our graphics um, fancier uh, changing the color, the sides uh, and um, other properties we are just showing the basic, uh, be very basic operation uh, for manipulating a plot so uh, the first one mm, that we are going to test is changing the sides of the marker and we are changing the sides of the crosses to 10 points and this is the result so uh, we see that the crosses are um, too big and they are overlapping but maybe this is what you uh, want to do and here we are changing the sides the width of uh, a red line a continuous red line and here we go we have a very thick uh, continuous red line well um, we can um, also um, define uh, the range in which we want to plot uh, each axis that means here uh, python automatically selected uh, the range 0 10 for the x axis and 0 100 for the y axis because this is the full range of the vectors that we uh, gave uh, to the command plot but we can establish uh, our own uh, ranges if we want to limit the plot to a specific range using the commands uh, xlim and ylim uh, they take as argument a list with two values which um, as you can understand represents just the beginning and the end of the range uh, we want to show so here we are limiting the plot um, for the x axis to from 2 to 8 and for the y axis from from 20 uh, to 60 and well this is the results um, in, in this case it's uh, um, the range have been uh, fixed by us um, but um, let me uh, repeat again that usually uh, you don't need to specify ranges because a matplotlib uh, is trying to establish uh, automatically which are uh, the optimal ranges of uh, the plot but sometimes uh, you need to specify like this okay now let's uh, keep uh, talking about uh, how we can manipulate uh, plots mm. and one very useful feature 
is uh, adding uh, labels in arbitrary positions of the plot. Well, the command that we need to use is annotate, uh, which, uh, for instance, uh, allows you to put an arbitrary text in a specific position. So uh, this argument uh, x, y text is the represents the coordinates at which uh, the text will be placed. Uh, we can also add a text with an arrow uh, using uh, the argument arrow props like this. Uh, we can specify the color, we can specify the size of the arrow. Uh, this is just uh, an example. Uh, I suggest you taking a look at the documentation of matplotlib, uh, but well, let's see uh, the result. Okay, we have the text hola uh, placed at the coordinates 180, 180, and the second text, this one, at the coordinates 240, 240 here and the arrows points to this coordinate 416 416 this one okay well so you can change at your um, preference you can also uh, change the um, size of the text the font of the text there is a um, very uh, wide range of possibilities uh, well, um, another um, interesting feature of matplotlib is that it allows you uh, to change uh, the scale of the axis from linear to logarithm. So by default uh, matplotlib uses a linear scale but you can change the scale to logarithmic uh, using the command uh, y scale or X scale depending on which axis you want to change. So for the moment let's change only the y axis and this is the result. So we have a linear x axis and a logarithmic y axis. If we put again the previous one we got a b logarithmic plot with x and y axis in logarithmic scales. Okay well let's talk now about, um, until now we um, were talking about Cartesian plots, but uh, matplotlib allows you uh, to represent also function uh, on a polar diagram. This is often uh, useful when representing, for instance, directions and so on. So here we define a vector of uh, an angular vector uh, in which uh, basically we define all the values between uh, zeros, 0 and uh, 2 uh, p. Uh, this is uh, again, this is uh, the way uh, we can access the p constant, constant uh, from the library uh, numpy. And the spacing is 0 0.1. Um, the quantity is uh, this uh, angle is specified in radians and here we have the radial function which is just a cosine function um, at, um, with um, plus 1.5 so it's a very easy uh, to understand uh, the way to represent uh, a plot on a polar diagram is this one well it's a little bit complex but well later i will explain you what subplot means but what is important now uh, to remind is that we are specifying the projection uh, as polar. And here we are just calling uh, plot with uh, this time we don't have uh, x and y axis, we have an angle and a radial uh, function. And we are representing it using black crosses. So x is for crosses. Uh, k is for black and this is the result okay very um, very easy so here we see the angle and we see the function as a function of the angle with black crosses 
Okay, let's go back to uh, the command subplot, which is very useful because until now we have seen how matplotlib allows you uh, to represent uh, different graphics uh, overlapped uh, one over each other. Uh, but matplotlib allows you uh, to uh, represent in the same figures, in the same figure, uh, different uh, plots uh, using uh, various configuration. You can specify if the plots should be vertically, horizontally aligned or uh, represented on a regular grid, an irregular grid. Uh, there is a wide range of possibility. Again, I suggest you taking a look at the documentation of uh, matplotlib uh, for details. Well, first we start creating a figure. Before we didn't uh, do it uh, because usually it is not required. That means the first time you call a plot like this, matplotlib is going to create automatically a new figure. In this case, since we are using subplot, it's better to specify. Well. Uh, once we created the figure, we start uh, creating the first subplot, that means the first graphics within uh, the figure. And the subplot uh, requires three arguments. There, is, there are different ways to specify this argument, but this is my preferred one because it's the clearest. So the first two uh, are telling uh, matplotlib uh, how uh, the different graphics within the figure uh, should be placed. So here we are telling that we are going to represent three uh, vertically aligned uh, graphics uh, organized in one column. Uh, this is basically as if we were defining a table. Uh, so this is the number of line and the number of columns. And here we are specifying the order. So this is the first subplot, the second subplot, and the third subplot. Well, in the first subplot, we are going to represent uh, the function, the cosine function defined above, as blue circles. B stands for blue, O stands for circles. In the second one, we are going uh, to represent the... Um, the same function as a continuous black line. In this case, we are going, uh, we are changing, uh, we are limiting uh, the range of the epsilon axis, uh, and well, this is uh, a possibility. We the three subplots, the subplots in your figure, uh, are not required to have the same uh, axis. Uh, they can be different, they can be even of different type. You can merge Cartesian plot with a polar plot like this. So here we are just specifying for the second plot a different range uh, for the y axis. Well, and the third uh, plot is going to be represented as a dashed red line. So uh, R stands for red and the two minus uh, are telling uh, matplotlib to draw the line as a dashed line. Okay, and well, this is the result. We have three plots, uh, one above each other, and uh, well, the appearance is not so beautiful because we can see that uh, the axes are overlapping. Uh, actually, matplotlib offers the possibility of changing the distance, the spacing between uh, different subplots, uh, changing uh, the general appearance of the figure. There is a lot of possibility to make your uh, figure uh, fancier, uh, but again, I suggest you taking a look at the uh, documentation of matplotlib. Here we are just telling uh, some basic information. Okay, in the last cell, we are just uh, specifying um, another feature of Python, which is very useful. Uh, we can define in Python arbitrary function like this. 
So here we are telling Python that uh, since now we will be using a function called f uh, which takes as argument a variable t which can be a scalar, a number or a vector and um, this function uh, gives back um, a mathematical operation on t which is basically uh, a cosine um, function multiplied by an exponential, an exponential uh, function. Well, basically we define the same x-axis as above, we create the figure, we create the first plot, and here we um, use this uh, slightly different syntax, we are not specifying explicitly a vector, we are specifying a function of a vector, but this is very similar to the previous one, like this. Okay, in the second subplot we are uh, specifying that we are going to represent the function of x plus 1, so it's a shifted function and we are limited, limiting the x uh, axis uh, from the value 2 to 4. And well, in the third plot we are representing uh, the function uh, with the argument x multiplied by 2. So it will be um, a different uh, plot. And well, this is the result. So we have the original function, the function shifted and limited uh, between 2 and 4, and function with uh, x multiplied by 2 in, and represented by a red dashed line. So well, this is just mm, a very very short introduction, uh, there are uh, a lot of possibilities. Uh, well, matplotlib is basically a 2D uh, plotting library. There is some limited uh, capability of uh, doing uh, three-dimensional plots, but there are other libraries specifically devoted to three-dimensional plotting. Uh, we have seen mostly uh, line plots, uh, but matplotlib offers a wide range of possibility with bar plots, pie charts, contour plots. Again, I suggest you taking a look at documentation in which there are uh, countless uh, examples uh, which are make mm, very easy to understand how matplotlib works. Uh, well, um, this is all um, for now. Well, in the next lesson we will start uh, specifically talking about inverse problem. Inverse problem. So, see you next time.